Hey, what's up? I'm Ashley. Thank you for watching this video. And we're just going to jump right into it. So, Nidia and Georgina are a new couple in the Netflix series called Valeria, which follows four best friends discovering their lives in their 30s. In that friend group, we have Nidia, who in season two finally came out to her friends and family. So now in season three, she wants to try to find love. She wants to settle down and start a family. So she gets on this dating app and her first date doesn't go well at all. Within the first minute, she's talking about their future and what their goals are. The woman she was on the date with wasn't feeling this at all. She didn't like how strong she was coming off. And what topped it off is when Nidia called her a psycho. When she was the one who brought her friend with her on the date on the low, it was the one already talking about their future together. But even though that date didn't go well, the one where she met Nudia did. So they started dating and when they did, Nedia made herself believe that Nudia was the one that she was going to start a family with even when she met Georgina. Because Georgina isn't her type at all, so she thinks. Nidia has a whole list written down of qualities that she wants in a partner. And Georgina doesn't check off not one box. So Nidia owns her own event planning company where she hesitantly hires Georgina as the photographer. They did nothing but argue and bicker the whole time. They're both dominant, strong-minded people who speak their minds at all times, except Georgina doesn't take things so serious. She's more carefree, where Nidia is more serious, just at all times. But even though they were always arguing, there was still a lot of sexual tension, which led to them hooking up multiple times even on the clock, getting it in. And even though Nidia is feeling her, she's in denial about her feelings. And during all these hookups, Nidia was still dating Nudia. So she was a whole cheater out here in these streets. Nudia didn't know what was going on, but Georgina found out eventually that Nidia had a girlfriend and she kept going on with it. But eventually she did get tired of it and was like, nah, we can't do this no more. You have a girlfriend. But the thing is, Nidia never slept with Nudia. She wasn't interested. She kept thinking about Georgina every time that they would try to hook up. And even though she didn't want to sleep with her own girlfriend, she was still in denial about her feelings for Georgina. So one day, Nydia invited Nudia to this event party and she ignored her the whole time. And not just because she was working, but because she spent most of her time there with Georgina. And during the whole party, she kept leaving Nudia to hang around and chase up behind Georgina. And during the party, Nudia noticed the vibes between them two, so she broke up with Nydia right there at the party. And as soon as she got dumped, she went right over there to Georgina and asked her if she wanted to hang out. And Georgina's like, no, you have a girlfriend, but she didn't know that she had just gotten broken up with. So once they get past all of that, Georgina ends up working for Nydia again for this whole different event. And during this time is when Nydia tells Georgina that Nydia broke up with her. Then they get into this whole deep conversation. Georgina is telling Nydia that she knows that she's not her type, that she's not the kind of girl that she's been looking for. She's not the girl on the list that she wrote out. Then they agree that they're both two different people with different experiences and opinions in life, but that shouldn't stop them from being together. Then after that is when we see them being all happy together at this event, which turned out to be Nydia's best friend's wedding. We didn't get to see much of their relationship after the fact, but hopefully if there's a season four, we'll get to see more of their relationship and more of them together. So if this seems like something you would want to watch, something you'd be into, you can watch Valeria on Netflix. And again, we don't get to see this story develop until season three, and she doesn't even come out until season two. So let me know your thoughts on this new couple in the comments so we can talk about it. And if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one.